waiting to see a second half in the second half in which I reckon Fresno are going to come flying back here. They had the better of the first half, just had one error and it resulted in a lead for the visitors. So Fresno unbeaten. And here's the news and of the week. Evan Newton caught a back-to-back -back shutouts against the Tampa Bay Rowdies in North Carolina. And USL Championship Game of the Week. It's Wednesday, May 22nd at 8pm. Expansion sides, Birmingham Legion takes on Nashville SC. And Matt, let's look forward to there. Well, and we all see who's had a nice season so far. 8 Eastern. May 22nd, and you've got the rest of those games. New Mexico United atop the Western Conference standings right now. That game on June 5th against the Oklahoma City Energy. Phoenix Rising coming off a runner-up finish last year. Fresno down one nothing at the halftime break. Stick with us. Sacramento Republic FC at the halftime break. First time that they've scored a goal in the first half of a road match this season. And Fresno trailing 1-0 for the fourth time this year. As we take a look at our first half highlights, and really, quite frankly, I think you and I can agree, the chances were more for Fresno than they were for Sacramento in the first half. Well, Cheney there with a good volley goes wide and he's can see he's pumped up, lovely ball in here, and uh, it's Mickey Dale who gets a foot on the end of it. I'm thinking, I tell you what, that's not too far off. What a good chance that was! Lovely ball in from Mon Pablo Cuffer. Have a look there, gets a foot to it first. More pressure from Fresno Kurimoto over the crossbar here. Maybe he could have just kept that down. So, so far, all the chances for Fresno, and then here comes a ball in the box. Defenders are dealing with it. Out comes CJ Cochran. It drops and falls for Sam Warner. And he expertly just puts it into the back of the net. And there you go. That's the only goal of the game. 1-0 to Sacramento. Fresno had four shots inside the box. Five total. But yet they could not find the back of net. And that one goal from Sam Warner, the difference so far tonight, Kurimoto had one of the final chances in the first half. What changes might Adam Smith make in this final 45 to try and get that connection in the final third? Certainly Cohen, 45 minutes away from another clean sheet. He had 12 last season, already three here in 2019. And Cheney, Really active in the first 20 minutes, but he didn't have many opportunities with the ball at his feet in the final parts of that sec uh, first half. Yep, and he was frustrated and he, he got booked, which is probably why he's having a discussion with the referee, <laughs> because he's got to be very careful now. 
I mean, Adam Smith does have, has, have options on the bench. Basulovic would be a good choice. Kula Wall would be another one. But uh, I think uh, Adam will, unless I can see any change, I won't see any change. I think he'll keep it the way it is. Give it to about the 60th minute, and then he will start to bring on some fresh legs if his team Fresno are still behind in this derby match. 45 down. 45 to go. Second half underway from Chukchansi Park for this 2019 edition of the Highway 99 Derby. Matt Schumacher, Gary Bailey with you, the former Manchester United keeper. Neither keeper's really been tested too much tonight, quite frankly. Really? No, you're, you're right. It hasn't been a lot of work to do for either Josh Cohen or CJ Cockin. That could change in the second half. And we've said it a few times, it's a derby match, passions are going to run high and no team wants to lose this. So whoever's behind with minutes left, they're going to be piling on the pressure on the goalkeepers. Whoever's yeah, behind, Fresno with the minutes left. One nil down at home. On the pressure. Unbeaten record at stake here. And I expect to see the home side really come out powerful in the second half. And a takedown. Nothing shown from the referee yet. Gomez and Ellis Hayden colliding. Yeah, nothing nasty there. I think Ellis Hayden went to cross the ball and Gomez's foot was in the way. And uh, have a look here. As he goes to kick it there, Gomez tries to get in front. So, yeah, it's a free kick, but nothing nasty. However, free kick in a good position. And you know how dangerous Fresno can be from these set pieces with Juan Pablo Cuffer there looking to bend the ball in and find one of his big men in the center of that box. He did it against Orange County at home. Why couldn't he do it here today? Juan Pablo Caffa, very close to the edge of the 18, he went for goal. Wasn't too far away, was he? Just thought there was a little gap at that near post where he could squeeze the ball in. He wasn't on target. Let's have a look at it again. Over the wall, yeah, the keeper was scrambling. Josh Cohen, <laughs> just in case. Well, that was probably a lot closer than Cohen could have ever imagined. But now a hit. Nothing there for Cochran. Oh, another free kick there. Going to be careful. There's a couple on yellows already, and the referee could very well be dishing out a few more on the score. And now he's going for the ball. Indeed. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. That's a bit of a shame. He has booked Jordan McCrary, second player booked tonight for Sacramento. First, it was Deco Cannon. In the first half, and now McCrary here in half number two in the 49th minute. And that yellow card presented by 5150. I think Cuff is going to go long this time. He's just pointing into the box as if to say to the big guys, Yep, there you go. Get in there. Here comes the ball. Flipped over and Del Campo could not keep it in play. And it's out for a goal kick. Man was frustrated there. He was that ball landed a little bit more. Would be closer to him. He might be on the end there of equalizer, but the header just floated past him. He couldn't get there. And he shows the frustration that the whole Fresno team feel at the moment. Match in which they've generally looked. The better side, and yet they're still 1 0 down. Jackson certainly showed bursts in the first half. Advantage given. 
Unless Hayden trying to sneak it through. And it's out for a throw. Sacramento back in numbers, back four, and the midfield have also come back behind the ball to defend. And it looks like they want to hold on to this one in the lead. Defending deep. That's a challenge for Fresno. How do they overcome a Sacramento side that gets numbers behind the ball? Smith making some notes. And behind him, Robert Earnshaw, a player who played well over 50 times for Wales and a number of other clubs in Europe, brings a wealth of knowledge to the occasion. And let's see if that can help Fresno get themselves back on level terms. Again, the only team in the West that has not been saddled with a defeat. And just one of two teams in the entire USL championship which features 36 clubs to not have a loss on its record here in 2019. The other one being Tampa Bay Rowdies. They've had an excellent start to the 2019 season. Just... Having an unbeaten record is something to be proud of and I'm sure the Fresno players are not going to want to let that up and especially not in a derby match of all games. Just four points behind New Mexico United in first place. A win tonight would put them in sole possession of second, where the Tulsa Roughnecks sit. And what a turnaround for Tulsa this year. You want to talk about teams that have, have turned things around in a hurry? That is Tulsa at the bottom of the table last year and now just a few points off the top of the table this season. Sacramento trying to build. Here is Horde. Into the middle. Blackwood was around the area. Certainly a player that they've made more of a conscious effort to get involved throughout the course of the game and now a restart coming Kurimoto getting a little bit overexcited there giving away the free kick maybe the referee having a word with him but they have to be careful Fresno they can't let the frustration of being 1-0 down at home in a derby match get to them but to keep cool got time on their side still plenty of time left in this match to get the equaliser even to get a winner Here's Hayden Partain in his third season for Fresno. Into the box, headed on. And a foul on Sacramento. Deco Kanan goes back to Fresno. We look at it again, long ball into the box and big defender for Sacramento. <laughs> Climbing all over Del Campo there. <laughs> He has to be careful. Yeah, he was booked back uh, in the first half. And he's had a couple of other little bumps and bruises with the Fresno players. So you never know if the referee just tots them all up and eventually decides to give him a second yellow. So the, the big centre back for Sacramento has to tread very carefully. The captain in his second season. Only outfield player for Sacramento to have played all 720 minutes coming into tonight's game. Previously with FC Cincinnati, before they made the jump to the MLS, and then before that, eight years in the Israeli Premier League. Also experience in the English Premier League and English Championship. Cardiff, Crystal Palace, it's all very, very good clubs. He's got a good professional background. Down to Kurimoto. Now oh, a low hit. Kicked back out. Blackwood leaving it off for Horde. And now a little touch and go in the speed of Tyler Blackwood. But knocked off by Del Campo. Beautiful defense from Del Campo and it goes back to Fresno. Fresno just getting ahead of steam up, aren't they? They're putting more and more pressure on. 
start to sense that this could be a match in which Sacramento are defending most of it and trying to counter attack with Tyler Blackwood. Possession very much in favor of Fresno at the moment. Little give and go, and just too much behind it for Elijah Martin. Out for a throw for Sacramento. And Jordan McCrary. Played 20 matches last year for Sounders FC, MLF, MLS side, including some time in the playoffs in 2018. He's got a picture there, Basulovic, there he is. So Robert Earnshaw just giving him the instructions. He hands in the piece of paper. Fresno making a sub, which we thought would happen round about now. Normally close to the 60th minute and fresh legs coming on and he certainly can score goals, Basulovic. He can make things happen just behind the, the front guys. Cheney through contact. Leaves it off. Del Campo to Jackson. On the right side, Jackson still maintaining. And a bouncing ball finally taken care of. And it's out for a corner kick for Fresno. Oh, the pressure certainly is building now. Fresno throwing absolutely everything at Sacramento. And Sacramento defending with their lives. Defending superbly at the moment to keep that clean sheet. But there's so much pressure here. So many balls in the box, shots on effort. And Jackson taking on the line here, tries to get the ball across. Eventually booted clear. Kurimoto. Sulevich still awaiting entry. Does have two goals this year. His first season with the club. One of a handful of new players brought on to help bolster this attack. Johnson, deflection, out of play. And another corner kick coming for Los Soros. It's going to be tough times for Sacramento. They're going to have to defend with everything they've got, put their bodies on the line because the pressure is really coming from the home side. And, you know, one thing's for certain, the ball coming in from Juan Pablo Cuffer is going to be a good one. Still an opportunity and Cheney out of play. Mickey Daly was also there. Frustration for Cheney. For Look at the bodies on the floor there from Sacramento. They really have made a huge effort to keep this clean sheet. Cheney's despondent. Sacramento players are injured. It's all happening here in this derby match. Training staff being waved on by our referee tonight. Luis Guardia. Let's take another look at this corner kick that came in from Juan Pablo Caffa. Looks like there's a clash of heads between the two defenders. Flick on here at the near post. And then as he goes to turn, Cheney. In fact, the, the, the injury came from the near post. As the ball was flicked on, it hit, hit him in the face there. Is that Hayden Partain? Partain was down, as was, was Blackwood. Tyler, Tyler Blackwood, yes. Yeah, Blackwood. Blackwood who got it in the face. Up under his own power, which is good news for Sacramento. Came over from Swope Park, where he scored eight goals last year. Part of that Swope Park Rangers side that actually upset the Sacramento team in the first round of the 2018 playoff. A two seed versus a seven seed, and Swope Park ended up taking down Sacramento. In fact, it was the second consecutive season that Swope Park ended Sacramento's playoff run. Brave defending here by Sacramento and their fans have got to be proud of them so far. Keeping that clean sheet. Cheney's been trying everything he can. He's a big, powerful, physical specimen and yet still he hasn't got the breakthrough. He is a physical body up front. The 24-year-old local product, three goals over his last two games. They're about to make a substitution. We have lots of conversation going on. We can't see much. But uh, wouldn't be surprised if Basulovic is busy trying to get on the pitch. Maybe they're trying to get Tyler Blackwood back on. They're just checking for concussion. 
And Villarreal as well came off. He, not Partain, also went down next to Blackwood. So two players off right now for Sacramento awaiting re-entry. So Basulovic, who was awaiting substitution, has now been recalled to the bench, at least for the moment. 60 minutes gone and a 1-0 lead for Sacramento. Well, a win would be huge for the Sacramento side. Currently out of the top 10 in the table, but not by much, and a win would get them back into the top five. That's how jumbled and congested the Western Conference standings are right now. It's truly really the Wild West in the USL Championship. 10 teams in the top 10, separated by just five points. And Blackwood, as well as Villarreal, back on for Sacramento. So nice. full 11 aside again. And there's a very serious sort of concussion protocol you have to follow. The referee doing the right thing, getting the doctor to make absolutely sure there's nothing of any concussion type with the two players. And only then can they come back on the field of play. And we got more commitment from the Sacramento players, putting their bodies on the line. More frustration for the Fresno players. They just can't seem to get the breakthrough that they need against their local rivals. And now, Arun Basulovic back over. Just checking with the fourth official. You'd imagine he'd be coming on very shortly. Here's an opportunity. Warner playing it into the box. Still not cleared away yet. Partain. Now wide. And a little too much from Gomez. Yeah, poor cross from Gomez, but just before that, Werner once again, a great little turn, putting a tantalizing ball into the box and causing those Fresno defenders all sorts of concerns. Here it is, Kurimoto coming off. Basulovic on. Basulovic in his first season, coming over from a club in the Swedish third division. Former Georgetown Hoya, only 23 years old, so he's not even close to reaching his potential professionally, at least in the eyes of Adam Smith. Really glad to have him as an addition to the team. He scored two goals already this year. And boy, they could use a spark from him tonight. Chances abound in the first half for Fresno. Have not quite seen the same energy around the box for Los Soros, although they did have the two corner kicks earlier in this half. Certainly still plenty of time left for the home team. Just that Sacramento are defending so well, they're giving them nothing at the back. They're hustling in midfield, and that clock is ticking down. And they're holding on to their one no lead at the moment, all the visitors. Martin maintaining and now switching fields. There's Ellis Hayden lining up a ball in. The pressure building here. Fresno have got Sacramento camped in their own third of the pitch, literally. Everybody back fighting for the cause for Sacramento. Johnson had it rolled out. Corner kick. throw in there. Either way, a chance to put pressure on at the back. Johnson. Oh, 
for Basulovic, out for a throw. Elijah Martin. Trying to get Basulovic acclimated quickly here in these closing 20 minutes. The thing is, Basulovic comes on with a fresh pair of legs, so you want to get the ball to him. He's, he's going to be quicker, he's going to be able to make the runs and get back and defend, and that's what you want from a fresh pair of legs. Martin into the box. Cheney has it headed away. But now Ellis Hayden. Back post. Cheney again. Got a head on it. Johnson in the area. Vasulovic back out. Here's a hit from Martin. Wow, look at that pressure now. It really is being ramped up by the home side. Once again, Sacramento throwing their bodies in front of it, blocking shots and really doing wonderful things for the jersey and the crest here so far to keep that clean sheet. Three clean sheets already this season for Sacramento. It's a team that has started notoriously slow on the road in this early going of 2019, but tonight they got the one goal lead in the first 45 minutes and have held on nicely. Not without a test from Fresno and Cheney. Once again, arguing with the officials, but he really has put a, a good shift in. I'm just wondering if Sam Wernham was the right. He went down on that left-hand side. Looked like he was injured. Yeah, he's still down. And the Fresno players are saying he's playing for time, but it didn't look like it. He really took a, a knock to the legs there in the tackle. So it's a breather for the Sacramento defenders while they get Sam Werner back up and playing. This isn't over yet for Sacramento. They've got another 23 minutes or so to defend that goal and it's going to take some defending. Adam Smith just sorting out the subs that he might want to bring on. But I'm sure Fresno are going to throw everything at Sacramento in this last 20 minutes or so. Channing with Q Lowell there on the sideline. As Basulovic plays it down. And now back to Basulovic. Kafa. Wide to Martin. And they have to cut at the pressure from Sacramento. Not making it easy for. Fresno to find the pockets of space. Martin headed out by McCrary. And actually went off Martin, and so it goes back to Sacramento, much to the chagrin of Elijah Martin. Surprised at that call. But it is Sacramento ball. Yeah, they're in no hurry to take it, are they? <laughs> and why would you be? Yeah, you won the lap away from home in a local derby. Part of the gamesmanship of this beautiful game. It's up to Fresno to make it happen. To win the ball and create the opportunities. Instead, here comes Sacramento. Drew Skundrich. Left off by Blackwood now. Jumbo. Foul from Juan Pablo Caffa in the midfield and a restart coming now for Sacramento. Just over 20 minutes left in the second half. Can Sacramento go two goals up on the home side? Wow, that would be a shock if they did. Certainly would. Anything's possible. What has to happen for Fresno to find the back of that? Get the ball up the other end and start getting service into to Cheney. And you've got Basulovic, you can create things. Jackson and Jamal Johnson. So 
Right now, they're busy defending. That's not where they want to be, Fresno. Jamel Johnson knocking Horde off the ball. And playing it back to Cochran. Be fair, great pressure from Sacramento to force a bad kick from the goalkeeper. And they're finding it very difficult to get out of their own half here, Fresno. Ellis Hayden on the right side. Vasulovic. On Pablo Kafa. Good, good tackling again by Sacramento. Just disrupting everything that Fresno do. They're really pumped up, the visitors, and they can, I think they can smell that defeat now. They've got the goal. It was a little bit of a gift, but they'll take it. And now they're absolutely defending for their lives. Look at them closing down, running, chasing. There's a ball through, looking for Elliot Horde. Blackwood in the box. Skundrich was there as well, and it's headed away. Goal kick, rather a corner kick coming for Sacramento. Done so well there in that counter attack to get the corner kick. They're in no rush as they make the substitution. It'll be Kevin Aleman coming on for Elliot Ford. And a good game from Elliot Hort, especially in these closing moments of his time on the pitch here in the second half. Applying great pressure to that Fresno back four. Alamon, the 25-year-old Costa Rican. And you could say everybody on the Sacramento team has been absolutely brilliant from a defensive point of view. They've put in a huge shift here today. The coach says, well done. Appreciates the effort of his players. And now you, you mentioned it, 2-0. No, no, I mean, wouldn't it be awesome for Sacramento if they could get something from this set piece? Werner out for the corner. High arcing ball back post. Headed on net. Ball still loose. Whistle blown. And Mickey Daly did not take a liking to that. As his keeper was knocked off the back line just a tad. Cochran though managing. Stay strong enough to keep the ball out of the back of net. And now here comes Fresno. Jackson walled off by Gomez. Daly heading it back to Ellis Hayden. Sacramento doing so well to get the ball back into the Fresno half and another poor clearance. Here they are in possession. Partey trying to slip it through to Blackwood. And they win it back yet again. Slightly overhit there from Sam Werner. They're fighting and scrapping for every ball, Sacramento, and they're making it so difficult for Fresno to get out of their half. Is this unbeaten record about to go? Only unbeaten team left in the West at 3-0-4. Fresno came into the night hoping to build off that come-from-behind win against Real Monarchs, but Sacramento taking advantage of a mishap on the back line. Werner scoring, and now Jackson has been booked. And he's mouthing to the referee, so I don't know if that's what he was booked for. Didn't look like, didn't look like it was a bad foul. I think frustration for everybody at Fresno there. They can't believe how a match in which they had by far the better of the first half has ended up with them 1-0 down. Partain, free kick, goes for goal, knocked down. Ball still loose. Good, good save from Cochran. It's a good free kick, and Cochran, all he could do was push it out. If there was one or two more Sacramento players following up, it could have been a tap in, in into the net, and they would have been 2 0 up. Diego Casillas coming on for Jackson. Diego Casillas, 24-year-old Mexican-American immigrant, part of that PDL system for Fresno. Played for Fuego last year, four goals, which was the team lead. And what a story. I'm going to say, if you want to be a hero, 
<laughs> Today's your day, Diego Casillas. <laughs> Come on and score the equalizer, maybe even a winner, and you'll be the toast of, of the town. No question about that. His father passed away when he was just three years old. His mother, a single parent of five brothers and sisters. They moved to the States in California. She worked two jobs. He said his goal was always to be a professional, not only as his own dream, but because he saw how hard his mother worked. And now here he is in his debut season as a pro for the team that he came up through in the PDL system. Perhaps he can be the magic that this team needs in these final 15 minutes. Trying to maintain that seven game unbeaten streak and pushing it to eight. Already tied for the longest in club history. And again, Cheney. <laughs> he can't believe he's given offside. We've seen him in disagreement a lot tonight. Certainly a character, boisterous personality. And an electric player up top for Los Soros. <clears throat> As Cohen will come out to take the kick. Werner. And they track it down. Keeping hold of the ball. They're keeping themselves. They're keeping their opponents under pressure. Sacramento so well. Here's another long ball from the keeper. It's just they've, they've stopped the flow of Fresno's football. Their football was much better first half. They just really haven't been able to get going. And that's, that's because Sacramento haven't allowed them to. Juan Pablo Cafa. Yes, and a foul called. There he was, Kevin Aleman, all over Juan Pablo Coffa, and now any time he lines it up, anywhere near the 18. Danger looms. And he's still a good 20 yards off the 18. Beautiful ball in, back in the net, Del Campo, or was it Cheney? Now hang on a second, did the offside flag come up? Yes. And Johnson and the home crowd cannot believe it, and neither can Adam Smith, who's come all the way down the sideline to have a word with the assistant referee. Well, that's gonna get Adam Smith into trouble. He gets a yellow card, no doubt. Let's have a look. It was Cheney who scored it. I'm not quite sure. We can't see from our angle who might have been offside. It came off the actual the head of, of Mitchell Tainter. It was Cheney with the header. But unless unless we've got the same view as the as the official there calling the line, then it's impossible for us to know who was and wasn't offside. It's been given. That's that's a story. Time to move on for Fresno. But it's a warning for Sacramento not to give away set pieces close to their box. He said how dangerous Cheney can be. I mean, yeah, both Cheney and Juan Pablo Cuffa. You see there Del Campo rising. Now, did he catch a piece of it? It looked like he almost did. And then it was ricocheted off the head of Cheney. It's hard to see whether it was offside or whether it was a handball, whether it was a push. And Adam Smith has been given a red card. He's been ejected from the match. And that's given these hometown fans something else to cheer about. As he's escorted off the pitch. It's going to be frustrating for the manager because he would have expected his side to have produced a result here today given their recent form. They just can't break down the Sacramento defense. And that's frustrating him, the players, the fans. Everyone supporting Fresno. Many people, if not frustrating, are the Sacramento side who have been absolutely brilliant in defense. And that run made by Alamon was absolutely spectacular, weaving through traffic. Maintaining possession for Sacramento as the heat comes from Basulovic. And now into the feet of Johnson. On Pablo Kaffa. Just missing Casillas. 
And now Q Lalo, Lowell awaiting entry. Second substitution for Fresno. He's an exciting young man, this Q Lowell. Great skills, great potential. And he could be the, the light that they need to get the breakthrough, Fresno. Oralampo Sansapolos coming on for Sam Werner. And Q Lowell, as you talk about the young star from Nigeria, now coming on for Fresno. So a couple of substitutions. Kula while coming in there for Jamal Johnson, I think. And it's a fresh pair of legs out wide. Let's see if that can give Fresno the breakthrough. Look at it again. Look at the hard work of Sacramento closing down, making it so difficult. In fact, Jamal Johnson is still on the pitch. Sorry about that. Third and final substitution. And here is Lawal trying to go with the right and blocked. Hard work they're putting in here, Sacramento closing down the game, chasing players down. Wow, a bit of a miscommunication there with Martin, and it goes back to Sacramento. Up ahead from Villarreal. Now a chance. Sacramento trying to put it away. Not this time from Drew Skundrich. And quickly back out from Cochran. That was a good chance for Skundrich there. Just wondered if that could have been the second goal. It would have been game set and match. And he wasn't too far off, but only if he'll live to regret that if Fresno get a late equalizer. Good opportunity on the counter attack for Sacramento. Certainly time not on the side of Los Zoros. We may be seeing their seven match unbeaten streak come to a close tonight. Trailing Sacramento by one goal. Here in the waning moments of the match. This is about getting the ball out the pitch. If you're Fresno, you want to get into the opponent's half. There you go, that's what you want. Lawal. And hook the ball into the box. Vasudovic. Ben Alcafa looking for Cheney. Back out to Alice Hayden. Valcampo forward. Juan Pablo Kafa. And handled by Alama. Here they come again, Fresno. Must be some tired legs out there, especially on that Sacramento side. Here they go back, defending again. So difficult. Johnson. He was looking for Casillas, and now to the 24-year-old. Ellis Hayden, back post, looking for Cheney. Lowell, a second chance. And out of play. More heroic defending from Sacramento. As the second minutes tick away, another set piece for Fresno. Look at that, less than six minutes left. Can they hold out the visitors? Toyota corner kick for Fresno. Nothing doing. And a goal kick for Cochran. Rather, Josh Cohen. Josh Cohen in no rush to take this. No, sir. <laughs> Fresno fans not going anywhere. They've seen this team come back 
from 1-0 down plenty of times before. In fact, they've done it three times already this season. But they don't have much time to do it. Just over five minutes left in regulation. Look for one Sacramento to take the ball quickly or take the throw in quickly. They're going to take their time and <laughs> look at the options. And <laughs> you never did that in your career, did you? <laughs> oh, it's a professional thing to do. Try and keep possession now as much as you can and watch that clock wind down. Free kick given. Fresno, on the other hand, are going to move it along nice and quickly. Get things going. Get the ball up. Hustle. See if you can still get this breakthrough and at least get one point from this, this game and, and keep your honor in a big derby match and keep your unbeaten record. Well, Pablo Kafa moving it up the pitch. Elijah Martin, now to Jamal Johnson. In the area, Cheney was there. Can he maintain possession now? Cheney leaves it up for Brasulovic. Wow. And into the midst of Josh Cohen. Basulovic with a great strike there, but it needed a deflection. He needed something to take it away from Josh Cohen. He got his body behind the ball. He could see it coming through all those legs. In the end, it wasn't too difficult to save for the big goalkeeper. But for Fresno, anything now, edge of the box. They have to shoot. They have to try whatever they can in these last few minutes to get this vital goal. Skundrich, Blackwood is down. Skundrich fighting for it. Elijah Martin lets it roll out of play, and a throw in coming for Fresno. And now the whistle blows from Luis Guardia, head referee tonight. And now the tactics. Well, Tyler Blackwood went down while the match was still on, which makes me think he actually has got cramp. Normally, if they're play acting, they go down once the ball goes out for the throw in. So he has put a shift in, Tyler Blackwood, as have the entire Sacramento team. Fantastic commitment from the whole, the whole squad. But hugely frustrating, no doubt, for Fresno. So they have thrown everything at the visitors and not been able to get a breakthrough. It'll be interesting to see how much stoppage time is given. Certainly had plenty of extracurricular activity here in this final 45 minutes to warrant some more significant time than we had in the first half at least. Only one minute of stoppage in half number one. Another free kick for Sacramento. Another opportunity to take your time to get two balls on the pitch. <laughs> Classic maneuver that always forces the referee to have to, have to hold things back. Fetches it, goalkeeper brings it back, goalkeeper decides he'll take it. It's all part of the slowing down process. You've got to be careful, the referee will end up booking somebody for time wasting. Cohen getting it on just the perfect blade of grass for this free kick. <laughs> yeah. Gotta make sure it's resting pretty, right? <laughs> You gotta do whatever you gotta do to slow things down. Oh, he has given given the yellow card. Thought that was gonna happen eventually. Why not throw another booking in there? We've had plenty more. We have the goalkeeper and two defenders of Sacramento, Kanan and McCrary, in the book. Another opportunity to slow things down. And now Stefano Bonomo will come on for Tyler Blackwood. In the 90th minute. Yeah, Tyler Blackwood feeling that cramp and he has put in a huge shift here today. Up front alone on many occasions and he'll enjoy this rest coming off the pitch and enjoy it even more if they can just hold on for a few more minutes and get all three points and jump. What did we say from 12th into 4th position? 
Pretty incredible. Whoa, Just gives places. you an idea wow. of the log jam of that, of that Western Conference right now. There really isn't any team that's out of the hunt entirely in terms of the playoff picture, especially now with the playoff structure expanding to 10 teams per conference. For 20 total, last year it was at 16, so they've added four spots to the 2019 playoff pool. Fresno trying to create something in front of this big home crowd at Chuck Chansey Park in Fresno, California. If you're one of the few Sacramento Republic fans, as we look five minutes extra time at it, if you're one of those fans, you've come away from home in a local derby to beat the opposition and end their unbeaten record and jump from 12th to 4th. I would say that's Not a bad. pretty good day out if you're Sacramento. <laughs> And if you hold on to this lead for the next four and a half minutes. This is a Sacramento team that has not won since April 6th. Wow. It's now May 8th. It's been a long drought and a win a long time coming, but they're not out of the woods yet. Ellis Hayden moving it up the right side. Aims it off for Casillas. Hounded. Absolutely hounded by Alleman, well defended, but he's whistled for the foul and now a free kick. And what Pablo Kaffa. Yeah, they played for that, Fresno. And good skills from Casilla there. Is it, uh, it's just, just enough bodily contact there to give the foul. Now, this is dangerous one, Pablo Kaffa. Does he shoot? Does he can, does he stick it in the box there? Tense moments here at the end. He's shot from a tougher angle already tonight. Cough up. Oh, good goalkeeping there, Josh Cohen. Absolutely brilliant. From the big man there in defense. And that just slows everything down. Takes it off the head of Christian Cheney. When you're a defender and the keeper comes and does that, you, you're so happy to see him. <laughs> I think that probably does contrast with CJ Cochran because the only goal of the match has come from what I would see as a goalkeeper error. And certainly some of his players certainly saw it as an error. And so to be fair, Josh Cohen saving his team and CJ Cochran costing his team. And the Tainan has it blocked. Juan Pablo Kaffa playing it back. Daly to Del Campo. For Pablo Kaffa, the ball in, Lau on the end. Del Campo, edge of the 18. Oh, yeah, they're throwing everything at the Monte Fresno. And again, Sacramento defending so well. Let's head in, on for a throw. And again, Kaffa, beautiful ball in. Just out of the reach of Ellis Hayden. Now Casillas knocked away, corner kick. Oh, immense pressure here in the dying moments of the game. Kaffa with another opportunity to bend a dangerous ball in. Brilliant defending from Sacramento. Absolutely stunning. And they come away with the ball. And now a foot race. Casillas winning it with Alleman, and he plays it back to Cochran. Not much time remaining, about a minute and a half in stoppage. All the numbers coming forward for Fresno. Aimless ball up there, wasn't it? It's goes straight through to Josh Cohen. He says, I'm taking my time. You guys push up. I'm gonna launch this up the field, and hopefully we can keep the ball up there and see ourselves safely to a magnificent victory and a well-deserved one. Frustration for Robert Earnshaw, the assistant coach, who's standing in for Adam Smith, who's been red-carded. Ellis Hayden pushing forward. Ellis Hayden, ball in the box, and Cohen again, climbing the ladder. And that might just do it for yep. Fresno. I think you're right, I think it does. Gives him enough time to wind the clock down for another 30 seconds and 
that ball in had too much air on it too much time gives the keeper a chance to come and catch it a huge credit here to sacramento what an effort they have put in they're almost dead on their feet and uh, yes it was a bit of a gift of a goal they got but they took full advantage they're going to go up into fourth place in the league table here with this victory here tonight Sacramento had not won a game since April 6th. They are 1-2-2 two, and two in their last five coming into the night. This Highway 99 Derby in Fresno. One last push. Guardia has yet to blow the final whistle. Yeah, hugs there between the Sacramento players. They know they've done the job. And now they've seen it through to the finishing line. And that will do it from Chuck Chansey Park. Sacramento ends the seven game on beaten stick for Fresno. A big three points moving into the top five in the Western Conference. And more importantly, it's first win in two months. Handshakes amongst the coaches and some of the players on the pitch absolutely finished. Both sides giving it absolutely everything. Fresno tried. They push Michael Daly, man of the match. Brought to you by Al Mexicano. Tonight is Michael Daly, tonight's man of the match. And certainly he was solid defensively, and really both teams probably feel like they could have come away with a result tonight, but Sacramento just capitalizing on that one opportunity in the first half. Yeah, that one mistake in defense by Fresno, and Josh Cohen marshalling his defense and coming for crosses, and. And everybody else in that Sacramento team defending with everything they had. And in fairness to Daly and the rest of the Fresno team, they threw everything at them. There wasn't much, much more they could do. And every unbeaten record has to come to an end one day. And so it has for Fresno here today. Tonight's McCarty, Mo McCarty Insurance moment of the match was that offside call. We thought it was the equalizing goal. Everyone in the stands thought it was the equalizing goal. Adam Smith thought it was the equalizing goal. Then he was ejected with a red card. He was sent off. Fresno thought they had tied it, but they did not. And Sacramento comes away with the win. A tough loss for Fresno, but a hard-fought battle and a hard-fought Highway 99 Derby. We will be back to wrap this up when we come back. Sacramento, a big three points tonight in Fresno. Xin chào các bạn, hôm nay mình uh, giới thiệu với các bạn phần mềm K4 Chim Pro, phần mềm dùng để quản lý trích quay, tính năng nuôi lịch, giảm thiểu việc trích quay và spam khi mà mình dùng tài khoản đi uh, spam traffic. K4 Chim, backup siêu nhanh, mở các loại trích quay tự động hoàn toàn.